For me, I've discovered everything's a messenger. It's not 80% are messages or messengers, 99% are messages or messengers. I think 100%, that, that leaves no quibble room and it just makes it easier for me and I like things that are easy. Is this a messenger or not? No, this is a messenger. <laughs> Sorrow to me is a messenger. It's asking us to stop that sense of dropping into ourself, tuning in, and seeing what's the message that it's trying to deliver to us. Grief is asking us to stop. Our entire, every single cell in our body, if we've really known and loved someone for years, or, or even a nice jacket, is oriented to that. Every cell in our body has to have time to grieve the loss, let go, and it's a natural process. It's asking us to stop. Anger is a messenger. It's asking me to stop and recognize the underlying expectation that I wish this could be true, but it's not. What do I need to do? What's the action I need to take to, uh, into the world that helps me move to the next uh, step? Everything to me is a messenger. And so I treat it that way. And I ask it, what brings you here today? Of all the places you could be in the world right now, <laughs> what would you like from me? And I've learned that some messengers once you've really welcomed them in, they say thank you, they leave, and they go find someone else. Others, don't they? They stick around for a while because they want to see, are you going to follow through? Are you really on to something here? I've noticed in meditation or inquiry, when a messenger shows up, sometimes they're just window shopping. They're just passers-by, and so I can note the emotion or a thought or what's going on. Others, however, they walk by, they circle around the block, and they come back again. And I note them again, and they leave, and they come around the block, and they keep coming around the block. Well, on the second or third time, I realize maybe they want to come in. So that's the time to me that I stop, welcome it in, what brings you here? And I have several questions that I ask it. What do you want? What do you need? Is there some action you're asking me to take into the world? And I find that last one's the most important. What do you want and what do you need is helping us get to know each other. But when I ask you, really, what's the action you're asking me to take? To write a letter, to make a phone call, to just stop for a little while, to talk to somebody, to speak a truth that I was uh, perhaps shy to speak about. So that action piece is really important. 